Hello Internet. Uh, so today I want to uh, run through a, a way to fix uh, your um, Samsung Galaxy S3 uh, when it starts going into this boot up loop that you see over here. Um, basically what's, what's happened here is that um, the power button has got stuck. Um, so I went through a couple of suggestions from the Internet uh, about banging the power button and things like that. That didn't really work. So um, the next option is really take the phone apart, um, which isn't that hard actually. So I'm going to walk you through that now. Um, so first thing is you need to take off the back cover um, and remove the battery. Um, take out your SIM card and your SD card um, and then get yourself a very small screwdriver. Uh, you also want a soft um, surface to work on, uh, which I don't have at the moment, but um, just so you don't scratch your screen more. Um, you're going to remove, uh, let me zoom in here. So um, there's 10, there's ten uh, screws um, throughout, the, uh, throughout the foam um, that you need to remove. Um, they're quite small, so you're going to need a small tip screwdriver. So let's just start with a quick. You probably want something like a glass or something just to put the screws in um, so you don't lose any of them. Um, Now, I've got another video um, showing what what this problem looks like um, if you've got the phone plugged in uh, and charging. Uh, basically, it's just going to show um, the empty battery thing with the, the circle on, and it'll just keep doing that even if the battery is full. So initially, my first thought was that my battery was dead. Um, Given up the ghost because it is quite old, um, but uh, I didn't have a spare battery and I wasn't really willing to wait for one to find out. So, some of these screws can be quite difficult to get out. Get right close to the end. But anyway, we'll, we'll get them out. You know, it's just a dead pixel on my on my display now as well. So hopefully, with just doing this, that might hopefully also get fixed. But uh, that might be wishful thinking. So one thing you do want to do is uh, just ground yourself um, before you start this. Um, on like a kitchen tap or something like that um, just so any static electricity that you've got on your body just goes to that instead of into your phone because um, it can absolutely wreck it if you've got an anti-static working service that's just way better but uh, most people probably wouldn't Sorry for the camera angle. One stubborn screw left.
I wouldn't really recommend the, the banging method. Um, trying to fix your button. Um, I think you'll probably just do more damage than good. Especially if you hit the screen in the wrong angle, you might crack the screen. Okay. Leave him in there for now. Hopefully we can work around it. Up now. Okay, I'm a little bit stubborn. Mm -hmm. There we go. So that's the. And this is basically what your inside of the phone looks like. So there are a few key things that we need to look out for. Um, so we need to get the zoom right. So um, at the bottom here on the phone, um, there is another screw. Uh, in my case, it's a little black screw. It's smaller than all the other screws that you've dealt with so far. So um, just keep that one aside from all the others. Uh, you'll need it. And then we've got to um, release the uh, antenna uh, connector over here. Um, it is quite um, quite small, so be be careful in how you release it. What what I suggest is actually getting a um, a flat a flat head screwdriver um, for this, and some of the other bits you'll need. But you could probably get away with the same one that you were using. So I'll just move that away. Um, and what we're going to do is just try. Uh, what we're going to do now is just remove the connectors and the other connectors. So there's one over here, um, there's one over there. Uh, let's see, one up top here, um, and another one over there. So these are quite simple, uh, and one over here as well. Sorry. So we just just pop them off gently, but that won't put too much pressure on. And pop this one off. Now I'm going to remove the speaker, disconnect the speaker part, lift it off. This is kind of difficult, but it won't come out. A little bit of force. This was the hardest part of this whole thing. So. For me, anyway. Might be a breeze in your phone. So. Just gonna find a place where to lift off. Try not to break the plastic. There we go. So, it's just got a little clip. There we go. It's off. So that's the speaker. Um, so you've got your camera over here. Let me zoom in again. Um, it is quite loose, so just be careful with it. Um, don't want to break that. And then the trick is just to lift these connectors again. So move them out the way. Um, and then try to lift the board out. 
gently. Okay, so um, it's going to be a little difficult to see, but um, let's see if we can get it focused. It's basically this little micro switch over here is your power button. Um, you should be able to push it and see if it bounces back. It should have a bit of spring to it, yeah, a bit of a clicking feel. If it just pushes in and doesn't come back out, then that switch is broken um, and then you'll need to replace it, uh, which I'd probably just take it to the shop and let them do it then. Uh, unless you try to find it online, but it's going to be hard enough for an average person to, to do the, the soldering, I think. Um, then, but I found on mine, this, this switch is perfectly fine. So it'll probably be the 